Hey Adalo makers, now that you've got your database set up in Xano and you've connected it to your Adalo front end here, uh, let's go ahead and get some login, sign up, authentication, and just some general uh, information about authentication when using Xano as your back end. Uh, so there's a couple of things here. Um, the first one is that we can't use the pre-built form components uh, with Xano as the back end just yet. Uh, so you'll want to use these individual components. You can see that I've got a form here that's just a group of individual components uh, that are labeled. If you're using kind of this bootstrap template, you'll notice that this is, uh, you know, kind of built out for you. Um, and to kind of make this work, what we're going to do is I'm going to double click on this login button here. Scroll down to the action section and go to more, user login. And then there's two new options here, Xano login and Xano sign up. I'm going to choose this login option here. And we'll go to email, and we're actually just going to use the value of the email input. So I'm just going to go to other components, and then this email here. And same thing with password. And the next thing that I need to do here is uh, the if you have uh, instant navigation turned on, uh, you'll want to make sure that you include this uh, change input value action, uh, these these actions here, uh, because these these inputs won't actually clear, um, you'll need to manually clear this. So a lot of what you build in Xano is going to be much more manual than, than it would be if you built an Adalo. Uh, but what that affords you is a lot more flexibility and control over how you build your app. So I'm just going to go to this change input value here. And we're going to go to, uh, you know, after it logs in, we're going to go to this uh, email. We'll do the email first and we'll set it to empty. And then we're also going to change the password input to empty, all right? So we'll just leave that as empty. And then after it does these two things, I want it to just link to the home screen here, all right? So that's kind of our login flow here, and we kind of need to do the exact same thing for this sign up flow. So I'm just going to click on the sign up button. We'll go to link, or I'm sorry, we'll go to more, user login, Xano sign up. And we've just got one more field here, other components, full name we've got other components email and finally other components password and we're, we're going to clear these as well so we're going to go to more change input value we're going to change the we're going to clear the full name first to empty we will clear this uh, email to empty and then we will clear this password to empty all right and then, of course, we're going to link back to our home screen. And there's a third action here, uh, and that is this login, or I'm sorry, the, the log out. So on this right icon here, uh, there is a log out function um, that works very similarly to the way that it does in Adalo. So you'll just go to more, use your login, and then there's log out right there. All right. So that, that pretty much stays the same. We're just going to log out and then link back to the welcome screen or the sign up, wherever you want to link them to. All right. There's one final thing here that I want to address about user authentication, and that is the password requirements. Uh, so you'll notice here that in this kind of pre-built thing, it says must have one letter, one number, and at least eight characters. Um, you can actually control what this password needs to be. Um, and uh, there's some kind of automatic error handling that takes place in the back end uh, that your users will be shown if their password does not meet this requirement, all right? Um, and you can actually set this up in Xano. Uh, I'm here in our uh, cars kind of user database here. Um, and if I go to my database and I click on this user table here, you'll notice that I've got this field here called password. If I click on this and then go to settings here, you'll notice that I've got some filters and um, it, I can actually change what these filters are, or I can just remove them completely. So if I wanted to remove all password requirements, I could just delete all of these filters out of here. And let's say that I wanted to add a filter back. I could click on the add filter button, go to the type of filter that I want to choose. So a minimum entry length, a maximum entry length, uh, you know, different symbols, uh, a minimum number of punctuation characters, um, I can, you know, choose all of those sorts of things. So if I want it to be a minimum of six characters or five characters, uh, I can I can certainly do that. Um, so that's how you can kind of change the 
password requirements for your sign-up form, all right? So those, those are just kind of some quick tips about how to set up the user authentication and kind of the flow of uh, signing up and logging in, logging out, and kind of the password requirements for user authentication and users when using Xano as the backend for your Adalo apps.